Hey, good morning, everyone. Happy Sunday. Rob here from Southwest Florida Television. A little on the chilly side this morning. Forty-nine degrees out here. Low tide right now. The moon is just above the horizon. I don't know if you can see it. It's pretty hazy. I don't think you can see the haze. It was beautiful. The moon was gorgeous this morning. Huge, bright, full moon. Nice clear sky here. Boy, piles of shells up on the high tide line here. Yesterday they were all down by the water. Now they're up high on the beach. Look at them. Still piles and piles of the pen shells. Look at all the pen shells. Amazing. Look at this. Look at this down here. Look at the size of that old broken tulip shell. Wow. That would have been incredible. That would have been an awesome find. So many shells. Beautiful lightning whelk. Piece of broken lightning whelk. My goodness. A lot of broken stuff. Look at all pear whelks, paper figs. I think we're going to get lucky here this morning. I want to go down just a little further south here. Just amazing, amazing all the whelk shells that are out here. Just amazing. Piles of shells up here on the beach this morning. Look at them all. <laughs> a lot of conchs, a lot of conch shells. Little pear whelk. A little pear whelk. Lots, these lightning whelks, there's so many of them, but they're all chipped up. They're everywhere. There's a nice one. Incredible. I don't know which direction to go here. So many, so many fighting conks on the beach. Fighting conks all over the place. Moon shell.
is incredible. That pear whelk, that big pear whelk there. Wow. I think I'm gonna turn around and walk north. It looked like there was quite a few shells up to the north. Just wanted to get down here before anybody else did. <laughs> Another pretty nice little lightning whelk. Beautiful out here this morning, other than being chilly. <laughs> My feet are cold. Get moving and warm them up. I see our buddy Roy way up the beach there. This cold weather isn't going to keep him away. I see him in his red, old red jacket up there. Rangers making their morning rounds there. Well, let's do some shelling. My goodness. Let's see what Mother Nature brought up onto shore for us last night. Another nice little lightning whelk. So far I've been picking up a lot of lightning whelks. Amazing. Some great, great lightning whelks out here. I don't know why there's so many of them. Lightning whelks, pear whelks. There's a little pear whelk. Another pear whelk. Unbelievable. The pocket's almost full already. Nice little baby whelk. A little sand. Incredible. Incredible. I've never seen so many lightning whelks on this beach before. Wow. All just by the boardwalk up in Area 2, at the north end of Area 2. Just a huge concentration of whelks. Now the shells are thinning out. Maybe a little paper fig down here, possibly. Nope, oh, it's busted up. These are, I haven't found any of these lately. The ones I've found have all been broken, the paper figs. Another pear whelk. Huh. What else? 
I'm looking for something besides whelks. <laughs> Lightning whelk. Murex. There's a Murex. An older Murex, an older Apple Murex. More pear whelks. There's a nice whelk. A little chipped up. Nice size though. That's a nice whelk shell. Another little one. Another little lightning whelk next to it. Absolutely incredible. Let's see, I saw, what else did I see down here? Look at all these lightning whelks. What on earth? Look at them all. I am just amazed. I have never seen so many whelks on our beach. Pear whelks, lightning whelks. What has caused all these whelks? Oh my goodness. Wait till you see. That's just up here in front of me. This is all pen shells. All of that is pen shells. A pile, just a huge pile of pen shells. Cockle shells, conch shells. Look at the cockles down there. Look at the beautiful cockles, those two shells there. Come on, I want to find a nice big tulip shell or something. A lot of clams. Piles. This is a pile of pin shells down here at my feet. See pieces of big tulip shells, but no big tulips. Look at all of the pen shells. They're just all piled up here on the high tide line. Look at them. That is a pile, a mass of pen shells. Another pear whelk. Oh, there's a paper fig. Sorry, a paper fig. It's got a chip in it, though. Huh. Wow. What a morning out here, what a morning. Shells up high and low here. I already have one pocket full of lightning welts. I can't fit any more lightning welts in my pocket. And yet, there's piles of them out here. Piles of them. Pear whelks, lightning whelks. Look at all these shells down there. I have never seen this many shells at Del Nor Wiggins.
What? Why? Why so many lightning welts? I mean, I, I could fill up a garbage bag with lightning welts out here this morning. Just absolutely incredible. Absolutely amazing. What? I'm looking for other things besides the whelks, but the whelks are in such abundance. Never have I seen so many lightning whelks at this beach in my life since I've been coming out here. pear whelk. Lightning whelk and a pear whelk. There's a good example here. How you can see the pear whelk on the right has the opening on the opposite side of the lightning whelk on the left. Looking for some tulip shells. Where's some tulips? I've seen a lot of broken tulips. There's a broken banded tulip. A lot of broken tulip shells on the beach this morning. But the big thing so far is the whelks. Just I'm in awe looking at all of these whelk shells on the beach. Wow. Can we keep keep on going up the beach and see what we can find? You know, I haven't even scratched the surface here. We just got started. Just wealth after wealth. After whelk. Who let the whelks out? There's a cone shell. An old worn out alphabet cone. Nice to see something besides a whelk. <laughs> Little moon shell over here. Little shark eye. an old, really old pear well. Chipped up tulip shell. Oh, I gotta straighten out my back here. Folks, there are so many. If you're in this area and you're looking for whelk shells, oh my gosh. Today is whelk, lightning whelk, pear whelk, paradise.
another chipped up tulip shell. Oh, I didn't want to find a nice one of these. So many lightning wilts. I know you're getting tired of hearing that. <laughs> what else? What else is out here? They're everywhere. They are everywhere. What do you think caused all these whelks to wash up on the beach? I'd like to find a paper fig. There's one that's in good shape. Little paper fig, no holes in it. They're usually pretty busted up. Oh my Lord. So I wanted to find a paper fig. Well, there's another nice one. There it is. <laughs> all, all down in the south end of Area 3. Just an incredible amount of shells. An incredible. Hang on, I gotta switch hands here with the gimbal. Shells that start filling up the other pocket. Piece of a murex here. Piece of a big apple murex. Another nice moon shell. This is an unbelievable sight here for me. Unbelievable. An unbelievable morning of shelling here. Just an unbelievable morning. I have never seen as many lightning welts on the beach as I'm seeing right now. and pen shells. My goodness. I have never seen as many pen shells as this morning. I'm going to take you up a little higher on the beach here. Paper figs all over the place here. The first ones I was picking up were all broken. Tons of them up here. Tons of paper figs. This is just a mass, a mass of shells right here. This an incredible, incredible mass of shells washed up on the beach. What all is buried down in here? Lord only knows what's down here. I do know there's lightning whelks. I do know there's plenty of lightning whelks. Those are all pen shells, all the dark shells. Big pen shells, just incredible.
Beautiful pear whelks. Beautiful pear whelks all over. A sheller's, a sheller's dream this morning here. If you're not out here shelling, come on down. I'll save some for you. Wow. A sheller's paradise this morning. I'm speechless. I don't know what to say. It's just wow, 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 wow. Every every time I turn around, it's another beautiful lightning well. I'm wondering what's up further up the beach. What else is in store for us this morning? This is what's got me, my mind just blown here. This is just pen shells. These are all pen shells down here, just piled up on top of each other. Piece of a big moon shell in there. There's another big moon shell over there. A big hole in it. Just pen shell after pen shell. Gotta be really careful, these are sharp. But who knows what's buried under there. I have found some great things this morning. Paper figs everywhere. Wow, what an awesome, awesome morning. That's all I can say. I got full pockets. My pockets are full of lightning welts. Pear welts. There's Daddy-O walking on the beach. I'm doing good. What's new? Well, everything's new. I'm everything I'm over 94. <laughs> yeah. Hey, wasn't that a good time? It was a nice day yesterday. Nice yeah. morning. Yeah. The weather, boy, didn't the weather get beautiful? Boy, did it ever. Sure got nice. Yeah, well, it looked like it was going to be overcast and it cleared up. Yep. It was glorious. It was got to take the jackets off. Yeah, just <laughs> glorious. Huh? How late did the party go yesterday? Oh, I don't know. It just kind of gradually, it went quite a while, but people gradually left. Yeah. And then they packed up a lot of chow for me, all the shrimp. And I don't did know you take else. all those shrimp home? Yeah. Do you have any left or did you eat them all? Oh, no, I got them in the fridge. <laughs> nice. Hey, it's nice today. The, the ranger guy said it was, well, he said it was uh, 49 outside. Yeah, it was uh, nippy this morning. <laughs> but as soon as you get out in the sun, big difference. Yeah, feels great. What happened to my big old dead tree? It's gone, isn't it? Remember that big dead tree that used to stand up here with a kind of limb sticking out a little bit? Yeah, I guess a lot of things changed here with those, that last the, storm. Yeah, I wonder if the wind blew right down. I didn't see it. Are you still going down that way? Well, let's we'll see what time I got. Yeah, I got... Two minutes I wanna, to go. Two You're minutes. Going down that away? I'm going that away, and but I want to catch up with you. You got your harmonica with you? No, no. Oh. Back to the ranch. oh, darn it! You need to bring that out here with you. Okay, I'll do that. You need. But I'll, ca I'll catch up with you at the bench up there. How's that? You going that way? Yep. Yeah, yep. I will too. I want to get these shells before everybody gets to them. Yeah. 
There's an incredible amount of stuff out here on the beach this morning. Yeah, I'll bet with that wind. I mean, look at this up here. That's all right. shells up there. And the waves went way up. Think about a thought for the day. Thought Start the working day. on a thought for the day. And okay. I'll get that from you when I catch up with you. Good. All right? Good. Be careful. Give Roy some time to get back up to area four here to Audrey's bench. We'll sit down and have a little chit chat. Just want to do a little more shelling here. Get a jump on the crowd. Although I'm quite happy <laughs> with what I've found already. I'd like to find I'd like to find some more Murex shells. Couple more Murex shells and they're all over, Roy. <laughs> There's no shortage of pretty shells this morning. They are everywhere. Everywhere. Everywhere you look. I've seen some pretty nice Murex shells, but they're busted up. Kind of nice sized ones. I'd like to find a nice big Murex. I'm hoping one of those might have washed in. It's a great morning. A great, great morning. loaded the beach is loaded this morning that's the beach is just loaded loaded with shells this morning and I'm not taking my time <laughs> I'd stop and start looking here closely Cockle shells. I haven't seen any angel wings. Pear whelks. Look at the pear whelks. There's a big pear whelk there. Just piled up. Or, I'm sorry, paper fig, not pear whelk. I always say pear whelk, but I mean paper fig. They're everywhere. There is no shortage of shells on the beach here this morning up in Area 3. And then, boom. Now they're starting to fade out as I go a little further north here. They're thinning out. But look at this. Look at that. That's going to go home with me. Big old whelk. That's a big old lightning whelk. A little, it's missing its little tail there. But it's huge. Huge lightning whelk. Way up on the beach here. I wonder what our shark tooth hunting friends are going to find this morning out here.
find. Morning. Good. That's all right. Love. I'm really trying to find some murex, some moon shells. Love to find a nice big tulip shell out here. The shells are kind of thinned out now. When I came out, it was 49 degrees when I hit the beach this morning. A little on the cool side for, for Southwest Florida. It's absolutely beautiful. Oh, look at that sky out here, just gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful blue sky. Couldn't ask for nicer weather right now. And of course, no red tide. No red tide, thank goodness for that. Some little waves breaking out there on the sandbar. Come back up to the high tide line. I see a few more shells up here. Yeah, nothing like earlier though. My goodness. When I stepped out onto the beach this morning, I was just going gaga over the shells. It's a little alphabet cone. A little alphabet cone shell. I'm glad I came up here. I was tucked under. That was hiding underneath a big pen shell. And right next to it, <laughs> See, you never, hang on a second. You just never know, there we go. You never know where or what you're gonna find, where you're gonna find it. Nice little Murex. Nice little Murex shell. Hang on, the gimbal needs to be readjusted here. Come on, there we go. One second. There it goes. So, just for walking up here on the beach, I got a nice little apple murex and a nice little cone shell. Just for taking a little detour. Beautiful. Two nice little finds. Still, still hoping to find that tulip shell. Although it's older and beat up, I'm pretty happy with this old lightning whelk here. I'm not complaining. That's a nice little souvenir there. It's amazing how far up the shells are. You gotta watch the beginning of this video. <laughs> the, the amount of lightning whelks that were out by the boardwalk when I first walked out on the beach. I've never seen so many in my life at this place. And there's, trust me, I didn't take them all folks. There's tons of them out there. If you want some lightning whelks, this morning is the time to come out for sure. And down here by the water. By the water's edge. We are at low tide here. This is a good spot right here, it looks like. See a lot of little bumps in the sand. One.
More lightning whelks down here. There's a nice little Murex. Nice little Apple Murex. Another Apple Murex. One of my favorite little shells. Boy, I'm like a kid in a candy store. My Christmas came early. My Christmas came early this morning at the beach. Lots of beautiful little treasures out here. You better get down here before the tide comes in, though. I can't imagine what our other beaches look like. Wiggins isn't known for its shelling. And yet, finding some beautiful stuff out here. Another little Murex, an older Murex shell. Partner Roy, our buddy Roy up there. Wow. Is that a tulip? Darn it, my hands are full. I'll take it. No, I won't. It's an old tulip. An old tulip shell. Still looking for a nice banded tulip here this morning. Gosh. You're making progress. <laughs> Yeah, that's a big one. Oh, look at the size of that. What fit in your pocket? Yeah, I got a, I got a little black one here. It's really pretty. You found a nice shell? Oh, yeah. Nice lightning whelk. Yeah, they're beautiful. Beautiful stuff out there. Yeah, that's the best one I've seen. A lightning whelk, huh? Yep. How's your pet doing on top of your head? Just hang in there. <laughs> you keep that. Looks like you need to feed it. It's actually getting warm. I don't it think. is. It's getting hot out I don't here. I think I need it that much. It is warming up quick. Big difference. Yeah. All right. I'll catch up with you down there at the bench. All right. Good. I want to come back up here to the high tide line again. Again, there's more shells just strewn about up here. Look at them all. So many. I'm seeing so many fighting conks. Just saw, where did I see a moon shell or a nautica? Beautiful nautica shell. Beautiful. See, it pays to come up here. Look how far from the beach, from the water, these shells are. So you can see how high the tide came up. Some great, great things. Again, let piles of lightning whelks. Conch shells, pear whelks, lightning whelks. Nice little pear whelk. Look at all the conch shells down there. See the fighting conchs down there?
I haven't even begun to scratch the surface. that that is really cool I don't have a shell like that look at that I don't have one of those that's a first whatever it might be thought I saw another nautica shell over here Yeah, it's a broken one, just the top of one. See it right down there in the center. Definitely come up to the high tide line this morning if you're walking the beach looking for shells. Don't worry if you don't make it out before the tide comes in this morning. There is a lot of stuff up high on the beach. And a lot of stuff down by the water's edge too. So either way, you're gonna do good this morning. You are going to do well if you're into shelling. I just want to catch up to Roy, have a little chat with him. I told him to work on a thought for the day for us. It's so cool having Roy back at the beach with us. Could not ask for a more beautiful morning out here. I've been so busy shelling, I haven't been watching for dolphins out here. It's incredible. Incredible shelling experience this morning. That's all I can say. I'm gonna keep saying it over and over. The best one I've had in a long, long time out here. Another little Murex shell. Little Murex. Seen lots of scallops out here too, lots of scallops. All different color scallops, sizes and colors. This one's a little busted up. A lot of broken stuff out here. Here's what's left of a pretty large, a pretty large moon shell or shark eye. That would have been a nice one there. That's pretty good size. I don't think I have one that big. Lightning Welk City out here this morning. I'll tell you what. Still seeing light, still seeing lightning welks on the beach. Not as many as down in area three. Still, still finding some nice welks out here though. Nice colors.
Wow. Would have been a great morning for you to be out here selling with me. <laughs> There's this, I see more. Everywhere I look, I see shells. Up high on the beach, piles of them. Out here by the water. Big pile of them. All, all up here at the high tide line, just piles and piles of shells. You know, that storm tore up our beach. We lost a lot of beach again here in those big waves the other day. But my goodness, did it, did it ever bring the shells to our beach? Just a mass. A mass of shells there. Just gonna walk along here. Keep my eyes peeled. There's something unusual. Sunday, everybody. Christmas is just around the corner. Christmas morning, I'm planning on coming down here for sunrise. I'll be out here at sunrise with Roy and maybe a couple of our other friends as well, a couple of our other beach friends to get our Christmas day started. This is just phenomenal here, phenomenal. A treasure chest of seashells here, a treasure chest. This is where I need a helper. I could definitely use a helper out here this morning and a wheelbarrow. <laughs> Unreal. I mean, the camera just doesn't do this justice. I can't imagine what our friend Bill is gonna find out here. Bill and Mike, when they, they're looking for their shark's teeth, an interesting looking whelk. Oh, it's chipped up, darn it. It's got the little spines on it, the little points. There's just so many whelks out here. So many lightning whelks. You could fill a garbage bag up with them this morning. There are so many shells here this morning that I'm having a hard time seeing them just because of the way they're all piled up on top of each other. Crazy, crazy, crazy. There's a little alphabet. 
I can barely bend over. My pockets are so full. I don't want to bust the shells in my pocket. There's a little alphabet cone. Still haven't found a nice tulip shell yet. I found some murex shells and moon shells. I thought I saw another murex down here somewhere. There's a murex down here. That one's broken up. There's another murex. Two murex shells side by side. That one's got a strange shape to it. Two little apple murex shells. A little baby pear whelk. Lord, every time I stop and bend over, I hear the shells crunching in my pocket. Moon shell, another moon shell. Oh, see, it's just when I stop, bam, I start seeing things all over the place. Another shark eye there. Oh yeah, that's a nautica, not a moon. A nautica, they're all nauticas, I believe. Not an expert. Little lightning well you can see the inside of it there I could spend hours out here today hours and hours and hours shelling hours without a problem look at them all this is up at the high tide line if you are wanting to add some lightning whelks to your shell collection this is the place to be this morning you can get every size lightning whelk imaginable out here. Pear whelks and lightning whelks. Lots of other little goodies too. I don't think I can pick up any more shells. I'm having a hard time walking. There's, my pockets are so full. I'm weighted down with shells. And just one beauty after another here. Just 
Incredible. Incredible. So many big broken shells. Scott and Linda, you guys would be having a good time out here. Karen, oh. all our good beach friends. Look at that scallop shell down there. Look at that scallop. Wow. Beautiful Sunday morning here in North Naples. Thanks for tagging along with me. If you enjoy these beach walks, be sure to tell your friends about them. Do hit the share button. Let your friends join in while we're live. Please, please, please don't be hesitant in commenting. I don't care what you guys talk about. Introduce yourselves to each other. Talk about the weather, talk about your hobbies. I don't care. That's what these beach walks are for. They're to bring people together. Gosh. Look at that. Nice big moon shell. Nice big one there. Wow. That's a good size one. I saw another one looking up at me down here on the beach. Right down here. Uh, that one's busted up. <clears throat> that one's busted up a little bit, but I saw that eye looking up at me. Gosh. Pick up my old lightning whelk here. That was my big shell of the day here. This big old lightning whelk. No shortage, no shortage of beautiful shells out here today. Beautiful, nice big scallop, nice big scallop shell. Another pretty nice size moon shell. Little sand dollar. Little sand dollar over here. Get a little light on it. You can see some of the patterns in it. Just amazing. I'm going to leave that sand dollar down there for somebody else. I got nowhere to put it. What an incredible beach walk this morning. I wish you were here. I wish you were here. Picking up all these beautiful shells with me. Look at that sky, gorgeous. 
The water is absolutely beautiful. The water temperature here, 68 degrees. 68 degrees, that water temperature is definitely, definitely dropping now. Beautiful out here though. Lots of people starting to show up at the beach here. A couple more little moon shells. A couple more little moons. Three little moon shells. Very cool. Hey, did you watch the live feed yesterday on Nonstop Naples while I, when I was at the visiting the Naples Train Museum? That was fun. That was a fun little visit. Little Murex, a little Murex shell here. I'm just, I'm kind of upset that I can't spend days out here going through all these shells, sifting through them all. I mean, there, it's gonna take a long time to go through these shells. People are gonna be finding some nice things here for a week. Everywhere I look, beautiful shells. Nice little pear whelk right down there under the bubbles. See the pear whelk? We have, I have never seen so many lightning whelks on the beach as I have today. Just amazing. Absolutely incredible. Lightning whelks all over. This one's got stuff growing all over it. I want to catch up to Roy. I spoke with him earlier. We saw him earlier this morning. And I asked him to come up with a thought for the day for us. It's so nice to have Roy back out at the beach here with me. We had a good time at his birthday party yesterday. can't stop looking down at the shells I'm trying to catch up to Roy but I just can't take my eye off the shells on the beach down here uh, Wiggins Pass is probably covered with shells this morning covered
sure there's piles of shark's teeth out here. Piles of them. I should be looking for those. Another nice little pile down here. Nice little pile of shells. There's a little a little moon shell down there. Little baby moon shell. Did I just grab here? Little crown conch, a little crown conch and a tulip shell. Crown conch on the right, a little tulip shell on the left. What else is down there? That was way up on the, by the trees. Oh, up that yeah, yeah, there are, you, there's a lot of good stuff up there. Really? Yeah, a lot. <laughs> yeah, in, just in like in patches, you know. There's tons of them, then nothing, then it's unbelievable all the whelks out here today. Tulip, little tulip shell, an apple murex, laying side by side, keeping each other company. Lots of little moons out here. Another little moon shell. Another tulip. Another tulip shell. What are these guys down here? Old crown conks. Really old crown conks. Man. Another little, another little murex shell. Kind of chipped up. Pick up my big whelk shell. What a great morning. What a great morning. Thank you for tagging along with me. We're going to get up and see Roy here in a couple minutes, so bear with me. I've about 
had all the shelling I can take this morning. <laughs> so many beautiful shells out here. That's all I can say. So many beauties out here. They're just one after the other. I'm just picking up my favorites. Just picking up my favorites. Paper figs galore. Nice. Nice murex there. Nice murex shell. Paper figs all over the place. There's figs everywhere, the paper fig shells. Piles of them out here today, piles of them. Piles and piles everywhere. Nice little olive shell down here. A couple little olives. A couple little olives sit next to each other. Nice little olive shells. I can't stop myself from picking these shells up. I have an addiction. But I have to. I have to. I gotta get up here and see our buddy Roy. Just be beautiful out here. As we look around, I'm up in area four. Couldn't ask for a nicer morning to go out and do some shelling. Look at this, they're just piled up. Look at this. This is the high tide line here. Look at all these shells. Look at them all. All these pen shells, these dark brown shells, shells, pen shells, piles of them, piles. I've never seen so many pen shells on this beach as I'm seeing today. Holy cow. If you come to the beach today and don't walk home with a bucket full of shells, there's something wrong. <laughs> there is no shortage of beautiful shells out here today. There's Roy up on Audrey's bench here. Go we'll check in with him. Oh. You finally gave in to the frigid temperatures and put on your sweatshirt. Yeah, I'm getting ready to 
shed it now though. I am dying. I'm sweating. Really? I am sweating. Now well, that sun is pretty nice. Hold this for a moment. That's fine. I gotta get this jacket off. Are you gonna be here for a little while? Oh, a little bit. I'm yeah, Bill, Bill said he'd step on up too. This thing's so full of shells. It's weighing uh, me down. I can hear it. They are jingling and jangling around in here. Uh, uh, uh. Crazy. Taking off my jacket here. Both pockets. Both pockets. I are think full. I'm going to get to the main library today and get some books and movies. Are you? I haven't been there in quite a while. They're open Sundays. Man. All right. I'm going to leave this. I'm going to walk down and get my car and drive back and pick that up. So I'm gonna leave it here if you're gonna sit here for a little bit. Yeah. So did you have time to come up with that thought for the day? Yeah, I have a little thought for I the day. I knew you wouldn't let us down. We can well, always Well, my count on thought it. is intuitions. Intuitions. If, yeah, intuitions. I know there's an old self saying, follow your intuitions. Well, these intuitions, I think, are instilled in us by the great creator. He nudges us a little bit and makes go. these subtle suggestions. And I, when we get an intuition, I think we should realize that it's, that it's coming from, from higher up and we should heed, heed these intuitions and act accordingly and, and do it right away. I mean, it's easy to say, you know, you, you get a thought and you say, think I should be doing this and that. And it's right. easy to say, yeah, yeah, good idea. I'll do that later. But later never comes. You got to do it right now when you have the when you have the thought, uh -huh. and and uh, get with it. And I think these thoughts are being uh, uh, slid into our consciousness by the great Creator. Well, that makes sense. So the intuitions are are a real special thing. They're really, that's his really that's his way worthwhile of, and vital. He's giving us guidance. Uh, yeah, 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 guidance. And so it's a worthwhile, blessed thing. It isn't just a thing you kind of slough off so you heed the intuitions and you appreciate the intuitions and you and you get with it and heed them right now there you go <laughs> so what's the most recent intuition you've had well i haven't had any intuitions today but i'm looking forward to a few intuitions <laughs> <laughs> whenever i get in the car i always say to myself drive carefully I don't know if that's an intuition or not, or admonition. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, did you get any hugs out here this morning? Yeah, I got a hug. Oh, one, just one so just, far? Just one hug, yeah. Oh, darn. Boy, yesterday I got hugs out there. Well, I yeah. got hugs. Yesterday was your big day here. Yeah, that was a great Gosh. time. <clears throat> it was a nice little turnout. Nice little turnout. Yeah, there really was, and a lot of good food. Boy, <clears throat> everybody, that was wonderful, mother everybody to provide all that food. I think, don't forget to get down to the bookstore with that card you got. Yeah. You got that Barnes & Noble gift card somebody gave you there. Yeah, Barnes & Noble. I got a lot of good gift gift cards, really pretty nice. Oh, did nice. you? Nice. Yeah. Well, okay. Did you get any for Sweet Tomatoes? Yeah, I you got did? a gift card for Sweet Tomatoes. Oh, I got a lot of good ones, so that'll nice. be wonderful. Nice. And those plaques were pretty neat that Bill had made yeah weren't they something yeah yep. captain roy black for the for yeah the, the one with the poem from yeah, audrey's bench yeah. here that was very thoughtful yeah, that's pretty nice of him yeah they did a lot of work for this gathering that was all their baby i'm surprised we didn't see jennifer out here she had to work i guess huh? yeah that's she true. had to work unfortunately well, that's too bad yeah. did any of the park rangers come by yeah, I think Bill came by. Bill did? Yeah, the guy with the harmonica. Yeah, he, had, he forgot to bring his harmonica the yeah, other day. Yeah, he didn't bring it. <laughs> Don't forget to put your harmonica in your pocket. Yeah, I'll have to do that. <clears throat> we got to have that harmonica out here at the beach now that we're back in action. Yeah, yeah. Back at it, by Back George. in action. <laughs> <laughs> I just wish it'd be a little warmer when we come out in the morning. Oh, isn't it glorious looking out at that I'll blue, what, blue though. sea and... The blue sky and the waves breaking and <clears throat> the white sand. What about that moon this morning? Oh, that moon. Was that not incredible? Oh, hanging over the, oh, the man, what a moon. The orange sky out there this morning, out there, with huh? the, the moon up there. 
I guess this is the winter solstice or something. They called it, what they call it a cold moon or something. I, yeah. It was, winter, it was winter bright Winter solstice, too. shortest day. Oh, is this today? The 21st, I think. The 21st was the shortest? Shortest day of the year, yeah. And there's something about the sun and the moon being in juxtaposition or something. I think it's called the winter solstice. Did you see any dolphins on when you were walking? I was looking for shells. I didn't see any no dolphins. No dolphins. Darn it. I haven't seen them lately. Oh, I haven't seen one in five months. We, I've seen them way far out. Yeah. I have, they said one came in close the other day, but I missed it. I was at the other end of the beach. Yeah, I'd sure like to see them. I haven't seen them in a long time. <laughs> well, everybody's saying hi to you here and sending you love. Well, that's sure good of them. Love to everybody. They love your wisdom. Now they're going to get a dose of your wisdom every morning. Well, every morning that I can make it out here. <laughs> so you need to start preparing yourself <laughs> for the question. What's the thought of the day or the word of the day? I'll have to dredge up some new wisdom. You will. It's been, how many months has it been? I know even intuition, as we touched on that yeah. before. How long, how long has it been since you've been out here? It was, it was about August. five months. Wow. It was August 2nd when I had the big collapse. Wow. <laughs> Time sure does fly, doesn't it? Yeah, but it's sure great to be back, I'll well, tell can, you. And the no old leg is healing that. up, too, so that's nice. Yep. It's going to well, take just, a while. You just got to be careful. Don't push yourself yet. Don't overexert yourself. Well, it feels good to have a good walk, that's oh, for yeah. sure. Just stay away from that water. That's the biggest thing right now. Yeah, the rest want... of my life, I'm afraid. Ugh. But that's life. Could be worse. Could always be worse. Yeah, I can swim in my pool. What the heck? There you go. All right, look, I'm going to leave that stuff there, and I'm going to walk down to 2 and get my car okay. and come back, okay? Yeah. So keep an eye on it. Okay. You're the guardian. Okay. All right? Guard your posts. Sailor. <laughs> I'll do that. All right, Roy. I'll see you later. Yeah, always great seeing you, Rob. All right. God bless. Bless you. And tally ho. <laughs> no tally ho? Oh, tally ho. Tally ho. Oh. There you go. <laughs> bless you for everything. All right. I'll see you later. Tally ho. Oh, such a joy having him back out here with us. Oh, here's Justine's out here. Say hi to her, see what all she's found on the beach this morning. We just had an incredible, incredible morning shelling. You gotta watch the video. It was just the replay of this video, just amazing. When I hit the beach this morning, all the shells that were out here and still are. I'm curious to see what our friend Justine has found. I would imagine she's found a lot of neat stuff. So, what a morning, huh? How are you? Can you that believe? Unbelievable. Can you believe the amount of lightning whelks? I cannot. In the pen shells, I have never seen so many. I the know. Beach. There's a whole section down at two where it's all whelks, yeah. pear whelks, lightning yeah. whelks, and those I, things. I couldn't pick up any more shells this morning. I know. My pockets I, are, were full of I my jacket. Found some, I found some really amazing um, whelks. Some really yeah, the whelks. Was, I found, I got one about this big. Wow, really? Yeah, it's faded out, but it, it was all the way up by the trees. Yeah, I noticed that. <laughs> I walked all the way up to the tree line, and there were thousands of those pen yep. shells. And yep. a whole there's, bunch a whole, of stuff there's a whole other line of them right up here. Yeah. Right up here on the beach. I found a couple tulips, but not many. Oh, I haven't seen there's one There's a whole yet. sand dollar there. Uh, oh, that's a nice one. That's a nice yeah, one. there's a sand dollar. Right. It's amazing how you walk right by stuff. I know. You sit there, stay, look, there's a moon shell. It's like, as soon as you, you, you bend over, I don't take I don't take these if you want yeah, it because no. I I break them every that time I be, try to. That would be a really nice. Thing yeah, I usually set them out for somebody else to pick up. Somebody would be so yeah. Yeah, I really shouldn't be taking all these shells. I look, just couldn't help. Look what's look what's looking up at you. Yep. 
They were all over the place. I know. Oh, I had a really big one. Well, big for me. But, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I found a couple like this this morning. Those are great moon shells. Yeah, it's such a good shell. One of the rangers, she, she runs the like the education stuff here for the uh -huh. little kids, and she calls them moon snails. Oh yeah. Moon snails. I guess they are snails. They're like they look. Ooh, that's a nice one. They look just like land snails. I mean, we have those like in our yard. They look just like the moon shells. Oh really? Yeah. I'm like hmm. hmm. Well, you've been awfully busy the last few days. Yeah, <laughs> getting around town. town huh? Yeah. Good for you. All right, I got to head back. I got well, work to do. Have a great day. <laughs> All right, you gonna be out tomorrow? I hope so. All right, I'll see you before Christmas then. Bye bye. Yep, time to make my way back down the beach here. I have. Shelled myself out this morning. Hard to believe, but I mean, there's just an incredible amount of shells out here today. That's all I can say. If you need, if you want to start a shell collection, get your butt down here to the beach. I can't imagine what our other beaches look like down by the Naples Pier, Marco Island, Sanibel. There's this much stuff at Delnor, the Lord knows. What a morning. Enough stuff around? Oh my lord. Just. Look at that one. It looks like a face. It is. It's a face. Look at that. <laughs> I've never seen anything like that. That is funny. Look huh. at that thing. That is a face. It looks like a pumpkin. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Any shark's teeth? No shark's teeth. Really? I thought you were going to have your pockets full this no, morning. No, nothing this morning. Oh. Lots of stuff, but not that. Well, Roy had a good time yesterday. Oh, Roy was really happy. I was talking to him this morning. I he was seen telling me there. he's still eating his shrimp at home. Yeah, I had I packed it in ice for him. So good, he could get good. Home. But yeah, he, he had a good day. He did. He got his hugs. He's happy. He is so happy to be back here at the beach. He looked so good down there. He looked good this morning. He's gonna. He's, he's just gotta he's watch. Got, well, he's gonna have to be taking himself to the doctor now. I know. He's gonna be getting the bad news I probably think, next week. Yeah, I think so. He shouldn't be. I, He's so close to the water down here. Yeah. Says, Roy, why are you walking down there? I know. That's here? what I do. I yell at him all the time. Get away from the water. Get away from the yeah. water. I had to re-bandage it. He thinks those shoes are waterproof. They're not no, waterproof. They're not waterproof. Mm -hmm. I had to redo his bandage yesterday because it had slipped down. Oh, no. Yeah. So. He's got to be careful. We need Look, e we need everybody's help keeping an eye on him. No Everybody kidding. watching. You Keep an it. eye on Roy if you're out here. At least he's smiling. Yep. Make sure he doesn't forget. I left my jacket up there and a big whelk shell that I found. Oh, yeah. I was tired of carrying it. My pockets are full on my yeah, jacket. No, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go get my car and drive back and get it. All right, Bill. See you later. Yep. Good luck. There you go. I'm sure you'll find something. <laughs> wow. Water is beautiful here. No red tide. The water temperature is 68 degrees, 68 degrees. It's really cooling down now. If you enjoy these beach walks, tell your friends. Nobody pays me to come out and do these. I love doing it. I love bringing everybody together here on social media. Make sure you always introduce yourself to the group, especially if you're new. Let them know where you're watching from. A lot of people like to share the weather conditions in their hometown. Nobody pays me to come out and do these beach walks. I love sharing what little bit of information I have, knowledge I have about the things I pick up with you. I'm always trying to learn new things. Every once in a while, somebody will send a little donation or a contribution to my PayPal account. I really appreciate that. I always keep the link to my PayPal account posted in the description here. And every little bit helps, as you know. I use that money to keep the phone turned on <laughs> so I can continue to do these beach walks. 
It really comes in handy around the holidays too. You know, everybody's always short on the holidays. But anyway, those that have sent something, thank you so much. If you want to send something, thank you very much. It's, I'm not, I don't expect it, but it's always a nice little surprise. Like finding a beautiful shell on the beach. I love surprises. This turned out to be an absolutely gorgeous morning. Went from 40, it was 49 degrees when I came out this morning. Now, I don't know what the temperature is, but it is beautiful. Quite a morning of shelling, that's for darn sure. Lots of beautiful shells out here this morning. Thank you for watching. Thank you so much. Be sure to tell your friends about Southwest Florida Television. Do take the time to check out all of my photos and videos here. I'm sure you're gonna find something you like. And when you do, don't forget to hit the share button. Hit the like and share. Make sure you like and follow Southwest Florida Television. Also, while you're on Facebook, check out Nonstop Maples. Nonstop Maples, give them a like and follow. You will find me doing live feeds on Nonstop Maple's Facebook page on occasion. I'm going to sign off. Once again, thanks for joining. Let Pelican just fly by. Have a wonderful, wonderful Sunday. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.